Hi everybody and welcome back to Small Dirt Rally 2.0 here on this channel. I'm KP Chiguna here. Now before we get into today's episode, there is an announcement. Season 1 is coming soon. So Dirt Season 1 will be starting on the 12th of March. And if you've already purchased the game, you'll get access to two new vehicles. The Skoda Fabia Rally and the Sitchin C4 Rally. And you'll also get the first credits drop, which is fantastic. And then two weeks later, guys, you get the icy mountains of Monte Carlo with our first location update. That is something to look forward to. This game is fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. And in today's episode, we head to Australia for the stages. And don't forget, in the next episode, guys, like I promised, we're going to start the Rally Cross Championship. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully, it's just as good as this part of the rally as well. So let's get straight into it and let's go to Australia. Right, so we go to Australia for the next set of stages in this rally career. And we go to Rockton Plains. And what time of night is it going to be? Oh, 10 past 7, so it's going to be a night stage. It's cloudy. And what's the surface? Gravel, medium gravel, smooth asphalt. Okay, that's not too bad. A bit of a mixture. Let's see if we can start off this Australian stage with a stage win. We're absolutely loving the Lance here. Fantastic vehicle. Right, so here we go. Let's see if we can get a decent start. Right, so here we go with the first stage in Australia, and it looks like we're not going first, which is always good. And the class leader's time of 5 minutes 16 seconds, so that's what we've got to try and beat. Good luck. Let's try not to damage the car too much on this stage as well. And we're going to go in bonnet cam again, but I will change up the camera views, and I still need to um, do um, a wheel cam video as well. I will do that, guys. It's just I've been so busy this week, I've just having a chance to set up everything. Right, let's see if we can get a good start. Oh god, I thought it was going to bash right into the side of the bridge then. And it looks like there's a bit of a mixture of services on this one. So we're going to have to make sure that when we get go on the sort of the tarmac that we really push it hard. And uh, I'd like to get a first stage win. It always sets you up for the rest of the stages. If you can get a little bit of time ahead. And we've got to try not to damage the car as well because that can be costly. We've been alright so far, we've had obviously broken headlights, uh, a bit of body damage, but nothing major. Uh, I've seen some people have loads of punches, the gearbox go, and we haven't had that happen. And we haven't really made any adjustments to the car either. But this is quite a nice flowing start. Let's see if we can just keep pushing. Oh, we've got a difficult turn coming up. Opens up an arrow bridge, 18. Let's make sure we keep it steady. It's nicely done. Long Titans, across the bridge. And I'm expecting these stages to be pretty quick. Um, there's some nice services in Australia. And oh, we're in the lead. So it's a good start. And that first stage. For the fastest time. Let's see if we can keep this up. And we're definitely going to do some of the online challenges as well, guys. And that's a good way of building up your credits. Let's keep it steady, but uh, don't forget, next episode, Rallycross Championship. And also, I'll be looking forward to doing some online Rallycross Championships as well on the channel, probably in a live stream. So if you want to join that, let me know in the comments below. Right, so this is going well at the moment. Hence why I'm chatting away. We can't cross anything too difficult. Cars responding well. And, as I say that, get back on the track. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was close. There's one thing I have noticed that's a real improvement on the game. If you go last, um, on these sort of services, the, 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 the track is so beaten up. And there's so many grooves, and it's and you're literally fighting with the surface so much more, and that makes it such more realistic than it's ever been on any rally game I've ever played. So that is a massive thumbs up by uh, Codemasters for that, because it really does make a difference. So sometimes it's good to go first. Right, it's not too bad. Oh god, I made a mistake. Oh, I've spun it. I've spun it. Oh, luckily we span round the right way. Oh, that we got away with that one. We still got a bit of a lead as well. So let's carry on going. But I'm bound to make mistakes. Hopefully we haven't done too much damage to the car. Might bust our radiator or something. 
Spash Junction continues. Just struggling a little bit through here. Uh, we'll see how much time we dropped on that mistake. Definitely probably not going to have the fastest stage sector there. Opens of a crest. Too bad around there. Keep it on. No, we're still ahead. So luckily we managed to get away with that one. Right, not far to go. Let's try and have a good end to this stage. Opens. Fifty. Hopefully get to the end without damaging the car further. Opens eighty. But it's like one of these stages that in the daytime, so I really, really push it hard. Get this car up in the air over one of the jumps or something. Nicely done through there. Come towards the end. And this stage hasn't been too difficult. Apart from that one mistake, it's been pretty clear. And we've been at a decent pace. Opens of a crest. Do you expect um, these Australian stages to be pretty decent across the country? Because they have got such a lot of country out there. And I bet they've got loads of circuits like this. And I think that is a good stage win there. Not sure by how much. Let's have a look. We need some time. Looking good for a stage win in there. I think, what was it, 5.16 wasn't it, the leader? So that is quite a decent time, isn't it? So uh, King behind us. So we're about 10 seconds. So that wasn't bad. I'll take that for the first stage. And let's move into the second one and see if we can keep it up. And hopefully if it's in the daytime, we're going to push it really hard. Right, so here we go with the stage two in Australia and we go to Chandler's Creek Reverse and it's 7.67 miles. And what time of day is it going to be? Oh, it's four in the morning and it's dry weather. So it's going to be slightly dark again. Same surfaces, um, but let's see if we can really push hard on this stage and put down a marker. Hopefully we can. So let's get straight into it. It's actually a lot darker than I thought it would be for four in the morning, but at least the conditions are dry. But this is the, one of the longer stages in Australia, so we need to start off well. Let's try not to make too many mistakes. But it's going to be tricky. And uh, these are the stages where you know that you can't crash too much, because if you break your headlights, you put yourself in a lot of trouble. So we're going to have to make sure we uh, manage that well. Trying to go as quick as we can through here. Trying to listen to those six instructions. Right Thirty six left. See where we are at the Five first right the sector. To grid. Five left. Thirty Still too bad through here. Trying to keep it right to crest. A decent to pace. Left. And the uh, right surfaces right are responding right okay. Left. Into turn square left unseen. And it's always good that we haven't gone first, but we haven't gone right at the back of the order either. Let's get around that turn. Got it around there nicely and we're up at the first sector. It's always good to start off well so if you do make a mistake that uh, hopefully that time will help you out. That's how I work it out anyway. I try and go as hard as I can. I got into a bit of tarmac there. That threw me out a bit. I must admit it's it's really weird when you come off the gravel 30, or the dirt and then you go onto um, tarmac you can really feel the difference on the car and I found even when you handbrake on the, uh, the road the car obviously because of the type of tyres you've got it does respond so differently so yeah I'm starting to feel like this game is really really good a very good sim and like I keep saying it's one of the best running games I've ever experienced and I've played quite a few not too bad around there. You really don't need to use the handbrake too much on the tarmac. The car pretty much slides around the turns anyway. Keep it at a right. I think the next uh, stages after this one are Spain. So that's going to be on the roads. So that's something to look forward to. But we're definitely, like I said, doing the rally cross next. We're going to mix up the championship episodes. 
very long. Just keep that from there. Oh, try not to hit those fences. 120. And, uh, this stage is going really well so far. Let's keep it going. Grid 30. Going to over 80 miles an hour in the dark. It's always a risk. And uh, we need to um, upgrade uh, some of the elements of the car as well. I think we upgraded the um, the brakes in the last episode, and we need to upgrade our crew as well. I'll try and make sure that I do that as well before an episode, because we have got some credits to spend. Be careful! God. Luckily, that hit the side of the car. Please don't smash your headlights up, Guna. Imagine trying to do a whole stage this time of night with no headlights. You'd just have to quit. I just don't think you could do it. It's just too dark. Right, oh. Oh dear, almost forgot to turn then. Let me know in the comments below, if you've got the game, what's your favourite stage uh, on the game? I mean, we're going to have uh, the Icy Mountains in Monte Carlo. That sounds really, really good. Um, I think the best one I've done so far is probably Poland. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you like. I haven't done them all yet. Argentina was tough. To caution for tight section coming up. Two of a crest. And what's your favourite camera view, guys? No, 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 no! I made a mistake. Don't, don't go off. Don't go off. Don't go off. Don't go off. Oh, that could have been a penalty there. If we had to recover the vehicle, lucky just managed to kick. Being the fact is a front-wheel drive car, I literally had the drive wheels just on the uh, on the dirt there. Just managed to pull it back on to the track, that could have been a real mistake there, and that has cost us a bit of time, but hopefully not too much. So easy to go off on these circuits though, and I think we've actually smashed a headlight, it looks like we've only got two on the right side, so we have to uh, try and make sure that we don't hit anything on the right side at least. Some difficult turns coming up. Into one left. Oh, again, not the greatest round there. Oh, it's fine. Once I make one error, I'll go on to make a couple. So I'm just trying to correct it and push it a little bit harder. Let's just try and keep it steady. We've still got a lead, I think. I don't need to go too mad. Definitely dropped at time on that stage, though. In that sector, at least. No, we're still quite a bit up, wow, so it looks like a lot of the um, competitors are struggling with this stage, which is no surprise, I guaranteed a few of them smashed their headlights and had to quit, guaranteed, we'll have a look at the end to see how many retirements there was, let's keep us going, not far to go, Oh dear, I hit a post in, don't want to be doing that. Just got to remember, there's no sides to these uh, these tracks either. So if you go off, there's a long way down. And it could be terminal damage and game over. This is going well through there. Into caution. I think um, at, the, at the moment, because I'm still learning the game, I think slow and steady on some of these stages is it's just the way to go. I mean, there is some that you can absolutely just put your foot down and just go for it. But uh, on some others, you just got to play it safe. And we're, we're playing safe and it's working in our favour. We're seeming to be on point at the moment. Let's keep it steady through there. Only a couple of sectors to go. Two right. Tightness don't cut. Into six left. Hopefully it's another shorter one next. Tightness through our grid. 
Opens of a crest. Into six left. Oh god, that was a mistake. Six right Just left. felt the wheels go light and some put the brakes on there. That wasn't uh, very Just clever. But luckily, that was on the left side of the car. Let's keep it steady from here. Six left long, tightness by you Hopefully, I, I want to build up some credit so I can buy a couple of vehicles. Oh, did the headlights just flash then? Please don't give up on me. I have to, and again, this doesn't look good. Oh, am I gonna have a failure on the lights? Oh, you dare if they go out right now when I'm close to the end. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Got far to go, and we're miles in the lead. The lights keep flashing. I think they're going to go out. I really do. Can you have light failure on the other headlights? I don't know whether that's. I've seen anyone else, but they must be uh, flickering for a reason. Pick up the pace on this tarmac section. Almost there. Three Be left. careful. Into four right of a crest. Couple more corners. Into five left. Into five right of a crest. And we should be okay now. Three. Oh, that was a lucky escape. I thought we were going to lose our headlights then, and that could have been a right real. A oh no, I have! Oh my god, what the hell? We have no headlights. Can we just see the. Oh, I can't see a thing. Don't, reco don't recover the vehicle, don't recover the vehicle. Let's just try and reverse out. We're going the wrong way. I can't actually see. Uh, we we'll sort of think we're going the right way. Oh, we can see the lights there. Let's just head that way. And that should be the end. Oh, that was a lucky escape. Wow. That could have been an absolute epic fail. That see, just imagine if you if I'd done that a little bit earlier, I would have had to quit. It's just, you just couldn't have done that. I couldn't see a thing. Just I just, just I was just taking a guess it. and just going by the fact it was telling me I was going the wrong way. That was very very close. And was there any? Well, it doesn't say there's many retirements there, but uh, at least we won it by. We did lose quite a few seconds there, which is a shame, but we're still in the lead. Right, so let's move into uh, stage three and see if we can do even better. Right, so here we go with the third stage in Australia, and we go to the Rockton Plains, but this time in reverse. So it's the first one we did in reverse. Are we going to get uh, decent weather? And it's in the daytime this time, which is good. Oh, cloudy. So hopefully we can do a little bit better in this one. Hopefully we don't smash up the car again. I can't believe we lost our headlights. It was completely lights out and we could have ruined the championship. But anyway, let's get into the next one. So here we go. Right, so here we go with this Starts third 30, stage in Australia. And we're sitting in a decent enough position. I think we can push a little bit harder and it's daytime so we can see a little bit more. So let's try and push it as much as we can. And if we make a mistake, we make a mistake. But then let's have some fun. So let's just go for it. And uh, let's see what this car can do. And um, oh, we've got a sharp turn coming up. Start off with. There is spots of water on the surface, but look how beaten up the surface is. And uh, a lot of cars have gone before us. That's going to make it a little bit harder. Picking those decent lines. Uh, let's have some fun. Oh god. Almost lost it there. But I'm going to go through Dirty. on this one. We've got well, a, a quite a decent a lead, so I think when you get uh, opportunities to do that, it's in the day. Middle of a You've got to push as hard as you can. God damn, I'm fighting with the. This is what I mean, guys. Look, I'm fighting with the actual surface because of so many cars have gone before us. Look at the state of it as well. And it's really difficult to keep it on the actual track at the moment. But uh, we're up to almost, oh god, we're up to 80 miles an hour on this surface. That is insane. But it is so much fun. Right, uh, where are we at this first sector? Are we good for time? Hopefully we are. 
into and right no, we're, we're actually behind. So there you go. So um, the surface is um, is affecting how fast we're going. We're actually lagging behind. We need to step it up. There's me saying that I'm going to step it up in this one, and we're lagging behind. Right. Pedal to the metal. Put a foot down. And uh, I, want to, I want to launch over a jump as well. No! Oh, just when it was going really well, I'll go and do that. Luckily, hopefully it hasn't done too much damage to the car. Well, that's going to be put us even further behind now. Uh, look at the class leader as well. I'm going to have to make a bit of a recovery here. So now we've got no choice to the push. As soon as I see a jump, I'm just going to absolutely floor it. I want to get this car up in the air. Yeah, but there you go, guys. That is one thing to to remember. If you go last, and a lot of cars go before you, you cannot push as hard as you would if you went first, because the, the track is just it is so challenging to fight with. It's, it's just forcing me out to the side. So we, oh god, so we're 11 seconds behind. Have a second point. We have to try and make up 11 seconds. It's not going to be easy. Middle of a crest. Let's see if we can just go for it on this third part. Oh god, be careful. Just letting the car slide around, trying not to break at all. Fighting to... I want to stay in the middle, but I can't. It just forces me out to the side. I've got a jump coming up. Quick enough. Oh, that was good. Oh god, that felt different. <laughs> Oh, it's really wet as well. It just feels into like um, I've got no nothing into underneath me when I went on to the uh, tarmac. But uh, this is where we've really got to nail it. Let's really see if we can catch up. Almost up to 100 miles an hour, and we've got it down to about eight seconds. Can we actually make a recovery here? That would be awesome if we could. Opens up a crest. And this is the perfect surface to do that. Left of a crest. 50. See if we can do it. Make sure that we nail it through here. Back onto the mud. And this is where we can't afford to drop any more time. I think we're slowly gaining on the class leader, but I don't think we're going to be able to catch him. But I'm going to try. Middle of a crest. 100. Oh, and to be honest, I actually prefer to be behind. I prefer to chase it. I think when you're the lead, you get a little bit too comfortable. Right, it's the end of the stage. Don't muck it up now, because this has been a good end after a tricky start. Back onto the tarmac again. But it's really wet tarmac, so let's be careful, because the car is going to slide all to the end. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, you idiot! Oh, what the hell was that? Just when we thought we were going to almost recover and win this, win the stage, and again I've hit the side. Oh, that is just a terrible ending. What the hell was that, Guna? That was terrible. Well, felt good. there we go. The we didn't win that stage. And that is how easy it, you can make mistakes. And we came sixth. So, that's, it's not too bad. We're still in the lead. But uh, let's try and make the last stage a clear one. Let's go for it. So, let's get straight into it. So, here we go. Right, so here we go with the final stage in Australia. And we go to Bondi Forest. This is just over four miles. And what time of day is this stage going to be? Oh, 10 past 6 in the evening, so it's still going to be light, and it's in dry weather. We really need to uh, put that third stage out of our mind, do a little bit better on this one. Let's see if we can get a final stage win, and hopefully we can take the Australian Championship. 
but yeah, look at our car really Stars beating up after right that right third right stage. Four right and we just need to try and uh, be a little bit cautious uh, on all surfaces. Uh, we haven't gone, we're not going first, so this circuit could be quite beaten up as well, which we found really difficult on the last stage. Let's see if we can try and get up on the first point. And that always sets us up for the rest of the stage. Looks like the track is quite chewed up a bit. That does affect the handling. Let's start well. And uh, I think in the next uh, we go to Spain. So that's going to be on road surfaces. But uh, like I said at the start of the video, we're doing rally cross in the next episode, the championship, which I'm really looking forward to. Too bad through there. Just be a little bit cautious. Hopefully we can beat up on the time. But we have got quite a buffer. We're in the lead in the overall championship, but um, it's always good to keep pushing hard. Oh god, oh, got a bit of air time there. Got the wheels up then. That felt good. Starting to pick up some pace through here. And it makes a hell of a difference this time of day because you can see the circuit ahead. So you don't always, oh, we're actually behind on the time. Oh, we need to pick it up. Yeah, you can see the circuit ahead and you can sort of adjust. Oh, and I say that. Oh, the commentator's curse. <laughs> he said the turn. Oh, I didn't think it was that sharp. That threw me out. I'm going to shut up now. Let's just, just keep let's just keep it steady through here. Into three. Trying to multitask. Into four. Right long. Nicely done through there. Right, let's try and close down the time. Right. Thirty. Five left. Extra long. Much better. Starting to pick it up through here. Grid and big jump. Two hundred. Front wheels are all over the place. Oh, got the wheels up again. I love, I love going over jumps in this car. Right onto tarmac. Remember what happened in the last stage. Be a little bit cautious that you still lose grip quite easily on that surface. Uh, nicely through there. Got another jump coming up. Oh, it wasn't a very big one, but uh, I think we've sort of closed down and really put ourselves in a good position now. Oh, and I'm loving this stage. If we didn't make that mistake at the start, we would have been well up on the time. Right, we've got a sh sharp turn coming up. Let's make sure we get that one done. That's much better. Let's try and blast all the way to the end. Let's see how fast this car goes. 90. We've got it up to 90 miles an hour then. Grinding oh, on the fences there. God, it's really chewed up through this section. Back onto the tarmac. Again, just really put my foot down. And we are up on the time, so hopefully this will be a final stage win. Oh, we've got another sharp turn coming up. Let's just steady ourselves. Oh, that wasn't, uh, oh, that wasn't too bad. Could have gone a little bit tighter in then. Right, let's see if we can just nail it to the end now. Get close. It's not too bad for there. Again, just fighting with the surfaces. Well, the other cars have gone through. Coming close to the finish line. And it's going to be another overall stage win, which is brilliant in this career. It's not too bad for there. Getting a little bit tighter through here, be careful. It's always difficult corners at the end. And there we go. Awesome. 
And we take another stage win. That was a fantastic run towards the end. Shame we made that mistake at the start. But I will take that all day long. The event win is in the bag. So it looks like we win in Australia. Look at the state of the car. Completely wrecked it. And we won it by a decent, yeah, a decent gap. Look at that. Awesome. Right. Let's get straight into what's coming next in this series. So here we go. Right, so that brings us to the end of the episode. We took an overall win in Australia and the car took a right battering in those four stages, but I really enjoyed it. Awesome services and I'd love to do that again in a different car. Right, we're just about to check what's coming next. Right, guys, in the next uh, rally career, we're going to Spain, but we are doing the Rally Cost Championship in the next episode. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I will see you in the next episode.